this video I'm going to show you how to make two festive no-bake treats you can make for the holiday season. What is great is that they're almost the same recipe but with different flavors and shapes. And they're also quite healthy made with whole food ingredients. So first we have these saffron squares, then we are making these gingerbread cookie dough bites. I will add links to both recipes in the description box and I will also share a blog post with a collection of more healthy Christmas treats. But for now, let's begin with the video. For the saffron squares, you will need about 12 fresh dates, 100 grams of oat flour, 2 tablespoons of coconut flour, one packet of saffron, a pinch of sea salt, two tablespoons of light tahini, and lastly, some shredded coconut to sprinkle on top. You want to begin by removing the pits from the dates and place the dates in a bowl, then cover them with boiling hot water and let sit for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, add all the dry ingredients to a mixing bowl. So here I'm adding 100 grams of oat flour, which is basically just rolled oats that I blended. Then add in the two tablespoons of coconut flour. And the saffron. And finally, the pinch of sea salt. And then you just want to mix everything around to combine. After 10 minutes, you can drain the water from the dates and also rinse them. The soaking process makes the dates easier to blend, but it also helps to remove dirt. So that's why I like to rinse them. Then add the dates to a blender along with 2 tablespoons of tahini and blend until it forms a smooth paste. Add the paste to the bowl with the dry ingredients and mix to combine. I first like to mix it with the spoon because the date paste is really, you know, sticky and messy and you don't really want to get it on your hands at this point because it will just stick to your hands. But once it soaks up the dry ingredients, you may find that it's easier to do it with your hands because you kind of need to knead it to really combine everything. You may have to knead it for a while to really combine everything, but if you still find that the dough is too dry, just add a splash of water. Personally, I did not have to add water. But then, press out the dough in a glass container lined with parchment paper. The container I'm using is about 18 times 12 centimeters, or about 7 times 5 inches. I really made sure to flatten it out very well because it also makes the texture better, in my opinion. It makes it more chewy. Lastly, sprinkle on the shredded coconut and press it in a bit with the back of a spoon. This ensures that the coconut won't just sit and then just fall off. It will stay glued to the squares. Then place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to settle before cutting. I just think that makes the edges more sharp once you actually cut into it. Yeah, and then cut it into 8 squares. You could cut it into smaller squares and more squares or bigger and less if you want to. You do you. But yeah, then you just store them in the fridge or in the freezer 
if you want to keep them for longer but then I recommend that you take them out a little bit in advance before you're gonna eat them so that they're not uh, frozen because that would be quite difficult to eat and then just enjoy Now let's move on to the gingerbread cookie dough bites. As I said in the beginning of this video, this recipe is almost the same as the first recipe apart from the flavor. So I already soaked the dates and just added the oat flour, coconut flour and sea salt to the mixing bowl. But to make the gingerbread flavor, you want to add 3 quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground cardamom, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. Just like before, combine all of the dry ingredients before draining and rinsing the dates and blending them together with the tahini into a paste and then adding that paste to the bowl as well. And once again, you may want to start by combining everything with a spoon and then knead the rest with your hand just to make everything easier. And again, if the dough is too dry, you can just add a splash of water. But I recommend to really work everything in before you decide to add a water because it actually absorbs much more of the dry ingredients than you may think and you don't want them to be too soggy. You could either make this dough into squares like before or you can roll them into about 14 balls that I'm doing here just to get some bite-sized pieces. And by the way, this dough smells so incredibly good and obviously they taste amazing as well. You can roll these in shredded coconut if you want to, I chose not to. I just sprinkled some coconut flour on top for the aesthetics. But taste-wise, shredded coconut would probably be better. But that's actually it for this video. I hope you liked these recipes and that you will try them. If you do, please let me know what you think. And I know it's not Christmas quite yet, but Merry Christmas and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video because it really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching.